I think in 2013, uh, I think I was recovering from cancer in 2000, end of 11 and 12. Then obviously, cricket wasn't going so great for me. So I thought that I need to, you know, probably find a second line of work for myself. And I thought, I thought that time startup ecosystem was just starting off, and uh, it was an interesting platform to invest in. And um, spoke to a few people in the business and. Uh, invested in a few startups like Healthians, uh, Jetset Go, and uh, a few other companies. It was a bit aggressive. So luckily, a couple of them have gone well. But uh, I just thought that uh, I was able to create a jobs opportunity for people out there. Uh, my main focus was, um, you know, to give people an opportunity to live their dreams. Because as when we were young kids, we always wanted, you know, that push from someone. who can help us uh, live our dreams i just thought there are a lot of people out there who want to make it big and uh, it's probably the right time to invest in startups as a sportsman you also have ambassador of the country and uh, there's a lot of young following uh, you have and, you know you want to inspire people with the work you do so i thought any startup that i do it is important to help the community To help the community grow better, thought uh, the right nutrition uh, with well versed and uh, healthy and you know uh, with health checkups is something that we're contributing towards the society. And any startup we do as a team, our decision is to understand that how is it going to help the society, how is it going to create jobs, and how is it going to make people lives better, simpler, probably faster, and uh, you know more productive. Two and a half percent of a country play sport. Two and a half percent people in our country are into health and fitness, and that is a really poor stat, you know. So obviously there are a lot of apps out there. There's a lot of awareness. There's social media. People can get fitter from home, you know, downloading so many apps. But the point is, the awareness has to come from inside of health and nutrition. I mean, when you, when I talk about Wellbus, why I chose Wellbus was the right nutrition. You know, you have to put the right stuff in your body. You cannot have results by doing exercise and eating crap food. So I think a lot of people are getting self-aware, especially in COVID times, that you know your lungs have to be healthy. You know your uh, you have to go for walks. You have, to, you have to do some kind of cardiovascular exercise. So COVID has made us made us aware, but we were not aware before this situation. When I was going through my journey, my after that the motivation was only to help people obviously then we started a cancer foundation uh went to lance armstrong's foundation live strong learned about from their foundation we came back and we wanted to do something for society and i think we started in 2013 we were a bit slow but i think we were able to do some great work you know more than 150000 people screening for different types of cancer i have all these stats here more than 125,000 students sensitized for anti-tobacco workshops. More than 24,000 men counseled for tobacco cessation. Education scholarship award over the more than 150 cancer survivors. So we've done a lot of work, and then obviously COVID hit us, and you know, we realized that the reason why we started the foundation was to help people. And obviously, with uh, we had a mission for 1,000 COVID beds, and we able to create 700 beds till now. and there is a demand for almost two two more thousand beds i mean uh locations that we have already done are delhi himachal pradesh telangana bikaner madurai and upcoming locations are shrinagar assam bangalore indore rohtak for more beds so we are actually ready for the third wave so i think as a cancer foundation a lot of foundations out there are believe in you know doing what they're doing which is great but i believe when covid came everybody got together and we all are fighting for one cause and that is what the i feel you know bring people together and uh, i'm really proud that as a cancer foundation we were able to do something for covid as well it's just not about you know a particular cause it's about when in dire states you know you come together and help each other cricket has helped me to being a young entrepreneur I mean, not so young at the moment, more a middle-aged man. But uh, 
it's been a lot of ups and downs through my career you know it's been a learning curve in life cricket has taught me a lot you know how to bounce back and how to fight back i think entrepreneur is also a young man's dream uh, if i compare it to cricket where you want to make it big and i believe to i uh, just my message to young entrepreneurs is you always believe in your dream and you know focus on the right path so for me is always been connected you know is something which was new that i wanted to do and it was something that i could help in helping people you know achieve their dreams because i'm sure in some at some stage when i was a young kid some senior or some fellow cricketer helped me you know with my equipment or with uh, helping me in training in some camp so you know the same way i feel as as a young entrepreneur you know you are uh, you are you have to live your dream you know there are a lot of people who are going to say that uh, you know you cannot make it cannot happen but I, i i believe if you if you if you live your dream if you believe in it and if you go to the right path eventually it will happen